Last year at this time, one of our graduating seniors, Kelsey, Rob, many of you would remember her, I'm sure, told me a story. Her dad had had a terrible stroke eight years ago, back in 2004. He was only 49. Kelsey was just a freshman in high school at the time. Over these eight years, he's recovered somewhat, but not a lot. He now walks haltingly. He talks even less. He can only say just a few words, really, about 50 right now. For him there is no yesterday, for he has no memory, really, of, of anything past. It's almost as if, Kelsey says, that there was a reset button on his brain that somehow got pushed. His wife last year brought him from Denver to visit their daughter for her last Holy Week in St. Louis. And like we do this very morning, the passion was proclaimed for all who were there. Kelsey said that he didn't know what to expect from that night. He really only knew that they were bringing him to the CSC that Good Friday night. During the reading of the Passion, from time to time, she would look over at her dad sitting beside her to make sure he was connecting however he could to make sure that he was okay. She said that, and I quote, the entire time he was so taken by the story being proclaimed. He sat on the edge of his seat completely enthralled with what was unfolding as everything led up to the crucifixion, she saw the tears coming down his cheeks as it dawned on him what was happening. He was weeping. After it was all over, he turned to her and he put his hand over his heart and with his eyes still red from crying, he uttered a single word. Wow. Wow. Even though he had heard it before, this time he heard it as if it were the very first time. This was a new story to him. And it was all he could do to contain himself upon hearing it as if for the first time. All he could say was, wow. My friends, that's our invitation to this morning at the beginning of this Holy Week. Can you and I hear it as if it, we were hearing it for the very first time and see it for what it is truly, truly an event worthy of a wow? Not wrote for us this year, not numbingly predictable, and more than a story. Wow is a word that gathers the energies of wonder and amazement. It's what we say after we encounter something bigger than life. A heartfelt and softly spoken wow can almost say it all, huh? It is what we say when words fail us. And tears are what we do. Tears are what we do when words fail us. And it is enough. The Passion, according to Mark, ends with the story of a pagan centurion, a pagan centurion. 
he says in the words of Mark, truly this is the Son of God upon encountering this same story that Kelsey's dad did, the same story that we encounter here in these pews this morning. Truly, he said, this is the Son of God, which is almost for us to be able to say, oh my God, oh my God. An expression that falls so glibly off our lips most of the week, but here it's literal. It's just that true, it's just that accurate, this love. Oh my God. Oh my God. The love here is just that big. If you are listening, if we are paying attention, I invite you at the very end of the reading of the Passion in the moment of quiet that follows to put your own right hand over your own heart. And in a word that mostly only you can hear, let it be heartfelt and softly spoken with your hand over your own heart. Just say, wow. This moment in the history of the world, this moment in my own history, this life that stayed tro so true to his mission, to the very end, no matter the cost, no matter the betrayal. This act, this moment of self-sacrifice to which I too am called, this moment not full of any condemnation but only forgiveness, only forgiveness for his enemies. This life deserves it. Wow. It's just the right thing to say, you know? <laughs>